Hi, this is Dr. Lutz, and I'm looking forward to um, giving you an update on the interdiscal biologics at the IOF meeting in February of 2018. And I just wanted to share a case I saw recently in the office um, that at least lends some support to this concept of disc, disc regeneration. You know, we've been doing interdiscal biologics now for a number of years, and uh, we're seeing things heal. But I think this case has been the most impressive case I've seen so far of this concept of disc regeneration, which ultimately is the holy grail of spine care. We did um, publish last this year a, a case of a 45-year-old marathon uh, runner who, um, when we used a 10 to 12x PRP intradiscally, did show signs at one year of some increased T2 signal even in a very severely uh, degenerated disc. And that correlated with great improvement in pain and function, and he's a number of years out now and still continues to do well. This next case was a patient of mine who um, we've treated since 2011 uh, for chronic lower back pain. Um, his MRI showed two-level disease with contained protrusions at 4.5 and 5.1. And, um, we gave him the standard of care, which was a trial of epidural steroid injections, and he had extensive physical therapy uh, with no real sustained improvement. And so he came back in 2013 very frustrated. He saw um, our surgeons at a hospital for special surgery who said the only thing they could recommend was a two-level uh, inner body fusion. He didn't want to go for that. We um, offered him intradiscal PRP. Um, because at that point in time, we weren't doing a lot of intradiscal stem cell therapy. And he opted to go elsewhere and had a bone marrow derived um, intradiscal uh, bone marrow concentrate. Uh, and he had that about in 2014. And the only reason I saw him back was because he came in to, uh, with his wife for knee stem cell procedures. And I asked him how he was doing. And he said that uh, he's doing great. So we threw him in the MRI, and um, I'll show you the, what, we, what we see. So this was his initial MRI in 2011, which showed you know, mild to moderate degeneration with contained protrusions at 4.5 and 5.1. And it looked very similar in 2013. And in fact, the annular um, distension was somewhat more. And then he had the intradiscal stem cell elsewhere. I can't take credit for this case. Um, and he comes back, and this is what we saw on the MRI. There was con complete uh, resorption of the um, protrusion, which was refractory for a couple years prior to that. And then there's also some uh, definite change in, t in the signal within the disc, both at 4.5 and in a very severely degenerated L5-S1. And so one intradiscal stem cell three years ago uh, cured his pain and also uh, made the MRI look a lot better. And so I think this concept of disc regeneration is one that we see sporadically, and the question is how do we get more consistent results, and that's what we'll be discussing um, strategies for um, improving this kind of result in the future. Thanks very much, and we look forward to seeing you at the IOF conference in 2018.